Inside this diary are the secrets of a total stranger. Hi, I'm Joanna and I buy weird things off the internet. One weird thing you can buy off the internet is a stranger's diary. Someone years ago wrote a diary and now it's for sale on eBay and I bought it. It's full of secrets. I'm gonna read the diary and tell you what's inside. This diary I bought is from a middle school slash high school girl in the 1950s. It's wrapped in plastic. So, oh, the mustiness of this is wafting, wafting, wafting up to my nose. This is musty. This musty smell is weird because it kind of smells like bread, which freaks me out a little. What does that mean? We're going to read this girl's diary. We're going to learn her secrets. This diary had a lock on it, but... Doesn't matter now. What will be inside this diary? Will it be secrets? Will there be juicy crush talk? Will there be a murder? I doubt it, but we don't know. We're gonna time travel back to 1952 and we're gonna... Oh, weird. Bread smell, it's so weird. Let's go invade a stranger's privacy. Oh, so I'm about to start reading this diary. Open it right up Ooh. and pages fall out. We're gonna see who this person was, what they cared about. January 3rd, 1952, I made 100 on spelling. So it seems like this is probably someone in middle school if they have spelling tests. A lot of these entries are very short. <laughs> January 4th, 1952. I went to town. She went to town. This girl gets straight to the point. On most days, she just writes, I went to school. January 6th, 1952. I went to school. January 7th, 1952. I went to school. January 8th, 1952, I went to school. So she goes to school most days. Here's a day she did not go to school. January 10th, 1952, I was sick and I stayed home and played dolls. So I would say if you're playing dolls, again, you're probably on the younger side, though I can't speak for everyone. Some people play with dolls as adults. January 11th, 1952, I stayed home from school and helped mother. That's nice. It's nice to help mother. So here she gets a little bit sporty. January 12th, 1952. I shot basketball goals. I made 20. 10 long, 10 short. Pretty good. And now she's back to her old tricks. January 13th, 1952. I went to school. Classic. January 19th, 1952. This afternoon, mother and I went to Hamilton. I got me some watercolors. January 21st, 1952. When I came home from school, I polished my shoes and washed some clothes. After a while, I played basketball. That's pretty much the ultimate trifecta right there. Polish your shoes, wash your clothes, play basketball. January 23rd, 1952. I studied my history for a test and listened to the radio. January 24th, 1952. I played basketball, studied history, colored, listened to the radio, and studied geography. January 25th, 1952. I played basketball, fixed supper, and went to bed. She's very succinct. Okay, now this is kind of a strange entry. January 28th, 1952. We were going to have a history test, but we told the teacher that we weren't, so we didn't have it. I wonder if this was a substitute teacher that they lied to. That's a classic move. I'm impressed they were able to get out of a test. Getting out of stuff is a life skill, so that's impressive. I have to say, her handwriting is excellent. I can read it very easily. Usually it's pretty hard to read someone's handwriting in a diary. Great job on this handwriting. Girl from 1952, I love it. I am very curious to figure out how old she is because she has some interesting superstitions here. January 30th, 1952. The test we had yesterday, I held my breath so I would make a good grade and I made 100. I've not heard that superstition that if you hold your breath, you'll get a good grade. I don't think that works, but apparently it worked for her because she got 100 on the test, so 
Unverified. February 1st, 1952. When I came home, I washed dishes and played. It sounds like her and her classmates caused a little bit of trouble. February 4th, 1952. Today at school, all us girls got the teacher book and saw what we were to have on a test. And we put it in our book. February 10th, 1952. I went to church, ate dinner, then went to Carol Ann's house and had lots of fun. Carol Ann's house is a lot of fun. February 16th, 1952. I went to Hamilton and when I came home, I made jello. You gotta love jello. February 21st, 1952. I baked a cake and played basketball. February 27th, 1952. I tried on a new skirt and blouse that mother made me. March 23rd, 1952. I broke the middle of my glasses at school. Okay, this entry is a little confusing. Do you trip people on their birthday? Is that a thing? March 27th, 1952. Today was Jean Savage's birthday and I tripped her on the way home. Do you trip people on their birthday? Is that like a thing? I think it should be. I think you should trip people on their birthday. Keeps them humble. That seems funny to me. Unless I'm totally misunderstanding this. She tripped someone on their birthday. March 29th, 1952. I went to town and I was sick. I got me some shoes. April 14th, 1952. I made 100 on spelling. I will say, she usually gets a very good grade on her spelling test, so I'm impressed that she's really good at spelling. I, in school, was bad at spelling. It was a problem. I guess I'm jealous that this girl in 1952 was so good at spelling, and I always struggled with spelling as a kid. I still struggle with spelling, but it's easy to look stuff up now. April 17th, 1952. Today I went home with Jean. We rode horses and lots of other things. What kind of other things? To me, riding horses with your friend after school seems pretty exciting. What more was there? I bet it was cool too. I never got to ride horses with my friends after school. I went to horse camp when I was like 12 and mostly they just made us shovel horse poop and we didn't really get to ride the horses. It sucked. So again, I think I'm jealous of this girl from 1952. Also, this is her friend Jean, who she tripped on her birthday. So it sounds like they're on good terms if they're riding horses together after school. The tripping, I think was probably a fun, who knows? April 22nd, 1952. This evening I called Jean. She wasn't in school. Where was she? What's going on with Jean? I need more information. Maybe she wasn't in school because you tripped her on her birthday. <laughs> that was a while ago, I need to get over it. She broke her glasses again. May 3rd, 1952. Today I was mad I didn't get my glasses. May 5th, 1952. Today I was still mad I didn't get my glasses. May 6th, 1952. Today I got my glasses. Also went on a wiener roast. May 7th, 1952. Jean didn't come to school today. I was mad. May 8th, 1952. Today, Jean came to school. Jean must be her best friend, even though she tripped her. That's probably why she tripped her. You can mess with your really close friends. May 10th, 1952. Today, mother made me some pedal pushers. Pedal pushers, we got that 50s fashion going on. May 12th, 1952. I wore my pedal pushers. Guess what? I think we have a crush on our hands. I'm sensing it. There's not a lot of information, but I'm sensing it. May 14th, 1952. Today I went home with Jean. We went to a show, had lots of fun. Me and Earl ate together. Who is Earl? Who is Earl? I think we're gonna hear more about Earl. I really do. May 15th, 1952. Today I made 100 on spelling. Mother made me pedal pushers, more pedal pushers. And she's always getting 100 on her spelling tests and really rubbing it in my face. May 16th, 1952. Today, we went on a picnic. We had lots of fun. She just wrote me and Earl and there's a heart. Me and Earl, heart. Earl, watch out for Earl. Can you just imagine for a moment having a crush on someone named Earl? What a thing. May 19th, 1952, me and Earl held hands. Hell yeah. Well, 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 it looks like Earl 
is officially her boyfriend. May 21st, 1952, I missed my boyfriend, Earl. May 22nd, 1952, I had to hand in my books and my boyfriends, Earl. Okay, get ready for this because Things are heating up very quickly. May 23rd, 1952. Today we had lots of fun. It was the last day of school. Me and Earl kissed six times. This is getting intense. Earl is... I still don't know how old she is. Is she 13? Is she 12? Is she younger than that? She seems kind of young if she's having spelling tests and playing with dolls. But she's kissing Earl. I don't know. June 1st, 1952. Today we didn't have church, so I sewed for Roberta Ann, my doll. July 2nd, 1952. I played like I was a dress designer. July 3rd, 1952. I played like Betty Grable. July 8th, 1952. I went fishing. She seems like a very efficient, productive girl. Most days during the summer she says i played and worked or i worked so she does a lot of chores she also plays she's getting it all in she does it all august 24th 1952 i got sick in church here's an instance where i cannot tell if she's being sarcastic or not september 8th 1952 i had the thrill of my life school started is she actually excited for school or is she being sarcastic I cannot tell. Most people hate school, but then when you've been away from your friends all summer, going back to school can be fun and exciting. The sands of time have washed away the meaning of these words. Boys, boys, all type of boys. October 7th, 1952. I got a note from David. He said he liked me. She is popular with the boys. She gets good grades on her spelling test. She's got an active social life. She truly does it all. More boys. October 10th, 1952. Today I told Margaret to ask Leslie who he liked. He said me. I guess here's the question. Whatever happened to Earl? I'm impressed that she's playing the field, but what happened to Earl? Where is he? Is he still your boyfriend? Where's Earl? November 1st, 1952. My birthday was today. I got a bracelet. Okay, we have Yet another crush named Lynn. November 7th, 1952. We went to the show. I sat by Lynn. We held hands. There is a heart with Lynn's name in it. Well, this sucks. In December, she was sick for quite a while. December 22nd, 1952. I was sick. December 23rd, 1952. I was sick. December 24th, 1952. I was sick. December 26th, 1952, I was sick. December 27th, 1952, I went to town. It sounds like she got better, I hope. All right, we've come to the very end of the 1952 diary. Let's read the last few entries. December 30th, 1952, I didn't go to school. December 31st, 1952, I went to school. Very fitting, she kept it succinct all the way through. There is one more page with writing on it. There's a memorandum section where you can sum up your year and it does not disappoint because she's talking about dudes. It's memorandum, 1952. I loved Lynn. Me and Earl kissed the last day of school. So we don't know what happened with Earl. Kind of seems like they kissed on the last day of school and then he faded away over the summer and then the following year she was in love with Lynn. So... Wow. She's got boys lining up to date her. I feel like she was probably popular based on this. She sounds very cool. Even though her diary entries were very short and sweet, they still really gave an interesting snapshot of her life. I aspire to be like this mystery girl. She was dope. Now their diary is for sale on eBay for anyone to buy and I have bought in it. Nope, I have purchased it. What is this? Why, why? This is how you buy a diary off of eBay. If you really wanna do me solid, share this video with everyone you know and tell them to subscribe and get them to come over to my channel to play with us in a fantasy of stranger's secrets.